I mean, the biggest concern is Taiwan. Um, and maintaining sort of Taiwan as an independent uh, entity and not going to war over it. Um, those would be my two main objectives. Uh, I think Biden needs to stand firm and, you know, say that uh, China can't invade Taiwan and, you know, should use Ukraine as an example. Um, the cost to Russia has been significant. Uh, as a result of its invasion, and uh, Biden needs to make sure that Xi Jinping knows that should he decide to invade Taiwan, there won't really be anything left. So in regards to human rights, um, if, and specifically the labor laws, you know, um, from what I know, there's a lot of uh, factories that employ uh, miners, and there's not really a lot of... Um, like work regulations as far as the ages of when they can employ people. So that's mostly uh, something that I would like to see if they address it or not. It's like issues where I know um, some issues with the Philippines and um, that they're just trying to um, kind of take control and um, oppress these people. I like our 是共和党的和比较年轻，因为呃是中国人本身，我肯定希望是跟美中关系会，就是会缓和一点，会好一点。我觉得可以互惠，互惠互利啊，可以搞好关系的话，嗯，我们和中国不要方便嘛。Since Trump, both of the parties have been pretty consistent on their China policy, right? Like there's not that big of a gap. Like everybody now thinks like it's time to get tough on China, right? Whatever that means is sort of like ambiguous, uh, people aren't very exactly clear. But I think in general, both of the parties agree that, you know, it's like time to get tough.